Good morning guys! Welcome to our channel, Automation Academy. Our topic for today, Automotive Interview Question 1. Question number 1. You are replacing brake pads. You have already removed the wheels. What is the appropriate next step for most vehicles? A. Remove the old brake pads. B. Unbolt the caliper. C. Break the lugs. D. None of the above. Correct answer is B. Unbolt the caliper. Question number 2. A low mileage vehicle is running hot. Assuming the radiator has enough column, what is the most likely problem? A. The block has a partial restriction. B. The water pump has broken down. C. The thermostat has stopped working. D. All of the above. E. Either D or C. Correct answer is E. Either B or C. Question number 3. A car is pulling to one side as it drives. The most common causes of this problem are listed below. Which one should you check first? A. An even tire wear. B. Bad alignment. C. Low or uneven tire pressure. D. A sticking brake caliper. Correct answer is C. Low or uneven tire pressure. Question number 4. When you replace an oil drain plug, you should retighten it according to an old maxim snug, but not too hard. Is it true or false? Correct answer is false. Question number 5. In what order should you replace spark plugs? A. All at once. B. An entire row at once. C. One at a time starting at the bottom of the row. D. One at a time starting at the top of the row. Correct answer is C. One at a time starting at the bottom of the row. Question number 6. You are replacing a fuel tank. You've drained and stored all the gas in the vehicle. What is the next step? A. Take the straps off the tank and drop it. B. Disconnect the fuel lines. C. Drop the rear suspension. D. None of the above. Correct answer is B. Disconnect the fuel lines. Question number 7. A vehicle comes into your shop with a transmission problem. What is the first thing you should do? A. Check the fluid level. B. Check for leaks. C. Look at the filter. D. Disassemble the transmission and check the gears. Correct answer is A. Check the fluid level. Question number 8. Problems with spark plugs wires are almost always caused by cracks in the insulation. Is it true or false? Correct answer is true. Question number 9. You are completing a radiator flush. You have drained the old coolant and added the flush solution. What is the next step? A. Turn the vehicle on and let it run until it reaches its normal operating temperature. B. Turn the heater on and let it run at the highest setting for 10 minutes. C. Drain the solution and add fresh radiator column. T. None of the above. Correct answer is A. Turn the vehicle on and let it run until it reaches its normal 
operating temperature. Question number 10. An engine is misfiring. Which of the following is not a likely cause? A. The ignition timing may be set wrong. B. The calling system may be malfunctioning. C. The fuel filter may be clogged. D. The vehicle may have a vacuum leak. The correct answer is B. The calling system may be malfunctioning. Question number 11. What is the last step in a brake job? A. Replace the caliper assembly. B. Replace and tighten the nuts. C. Press the brake pedal to make sure the brake pressure is satisfactory. D. None of the above. Correct answer is C. Press the brake pedal to make sure the brake pressure is satisfactory. Question number 12. An air filter should not be replaced until it shows visible signs of accumulated particles. Is it true or false? Correct answer is true. Question number 13. Black smoke is mixed into the exhaust of a vehicle you have been tasked to repair. Which of the following is a likely cause? A. Leaking fuel injectors. B. A closed carburetor chalk. C. A dirty air filter. D. Any of the above. Quick answer is D. Any of the above. Question number 14. Which of the following is not a possible cause of an engine hesitating? A. The air filter needs to be replaced. B. The ignition wires need to be replaced. C. The fuel filter is clogged. D. The engine has a vacuum leak. Correct answer is D. The engine has a vacuum leak. Question number 15. A vehicle is knocking when it goes over bumps or cracks in the road. Which of the following is a likely cause of the problem? A. Low power steering fluid. B. Shocks or struts that need to be replaced. C. A broken tie rod. T. A worn power steering belt. Correct answer is B. Shocks or struts that need to be replaced. Question number 16. It is recommended that a timing belt be replaced at the manufacturer's suggested interval if a visual inspection reveals only minor fraying. Is it true or false? Correct answer is false. Question number 17. A brake pedal has to go down too far to stop. Which of the following is not likely to be a cause of this problem? A. Low brake fluid. B. Worn brake pads. C. Contaminated brake fluid. D. A brake line obstruction. Correct answer is D. A brake line obstruction. Question number 18. What type of fuse is a car made before 1980 likely to have? A. Blade. B. Ceramic. C. Glass tube. D. Any of the above. Correct answer is B. Ceramic. Question number 19. What is the most common reason a car will not start? A. A bad fuse. 
B. A dead battery C. A bad starter T. A bad ignition switch Correct answer is B. A dead battery Question number 20 The water pump is the most important part of any vehicle's calling system is it true or false? Correct answer is false. Question number 21. An engine has recently begun using a lot of oil and the coolant is foamy and brown. Which of the following is likely to have caused this problem? A. A cylinder head has been cracked. B. A head gasket has blown. C. The oil to water color is leaking. D. Any of the above. Correct answer is D. Any of the above. Question number 22. Transmissions have a tendency to start leaking over time. Which of the following is not a common spot? For a leak to occur. A. The drain hole beneath the transmission. B. The base of the filler tube. C. The filter housing. D. The mounting point of the speed sensor. Correct answer is C. The filter housing. Question number 23. When a car battery develops problems, it is most often because of a dirty post. True or false? Her answer is true. Question number 24. A vehicle is having difficulty with steering. Which of the following is the most likely cost? A. The power steering belt needs to be adjusted or replaced. D. The vehicle is low on power steering fluid. C. The power steering pump needs to be replaced. D. The power steering rack is leaking. Correct answer is B. The vehicle is low on power steering fluid. Question number 25. Which of the following is not a common reason the chick engine light comes on in most vehicles? A. The battery is dying. B. The gas cap is lost. C. The spark plug wires need to be replaced. D. The engine has somehow gotten wet. Correct answer is... A. The battery is dying. And that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe to our channel Automation Academy. And please comment down below. And don't forget to share the love. Thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.